I want to talk about something that is really going to help you. You may be going through a particular situation right now. And you may have prayed and received the answer for it. You may have told other people about the situation that you are going through now, which you are going to find out some of the time you should not tell other people about your issues because they may tell you to do the wrong thing. For instance, you know, not every time it is not like that person is trying to lead you the wrong way on purpose. It is just that they don't know any better. For instance, for instance, let's say that there are levels 1 through 10 in Jesus Christ. Okay. You have to know that everyone is not on the same level in Jesus Christ. Everyone is not, because everyone don't put forth the same effort. Does that make any sense? Okay. Let's say that you are on a level five, and this other person who is trying to advise you things of God is on a level two. Now, it does not mean that the level two don't know anything about God. That person may say something that can really help you, but what I am trying to say everyone is not everyone does not have the same level of faith everyone don't know as much as everyone else about God so that level two is going to tell you what they know and you are on a level five so that level two may be saying things of God but there are areas that that person is missing why because that person is only on a level two so they can only tell you things from their point of view when, like I said, there are levels, let's say that there are levels from one through 10. And they can only see from the point of view from a level two. It is not that that level two is trying to hurt you or lead you the wrong way. That person is only on a level two. So, let's say this too. I really hope I don't confuse anyone. <laughs> let's say, in faith, there is a level 1 through 10. And you are on a level 5, and that person, that same person, is on a level 2 in faith. So, how can that person tell you how to have the right amount of faith in God when they are only on a level two. If anything, what you should do is take the advice of a level six or higher. If you want more faith, why take the advice of a level two in faith? Now, that does not mean that they are not going to say anything that is helpful because they may say some things that may be right. But what you should do is go get a person that is higher in faith or in God than you, then take advice from them. Does that make any sense? Some people mean well. 
But when it comes down to your eternal soul in your life, you want to make sure that you are doing the right things. I am not saying that that level two is a bad person or you should leave that person alone. But when it comes down to things of God, you need to build yourself up more. So for instance, let's say that you are going through that issue I was explaining about earlier. And God has given you the answer on to what to do. And this level two is telling you, hey, you are wrong. <laughs> and if you are not careful, if you are not careful, that level two can make you lose faith in God. Not faith in God, but faith in what God has told you. There is a desired outcome that you want. God has told you what to do or just believe in him. But this level two came to you, hey, things are not going to work out for you because of blah, blah, blah. Or what you should do is take my advice and blah, blah, blah. That person is a level two. God has given you the answer. So be careful of who you talk to. Talk to a level six when you are on a level five. If possible, talk to a level 10 if it is possible. Talk to someone that is stronger and who is able to persistently and consistently serve God without going back and forth each day. Now, let me say this. Accidents happen. You may sin accidentally. That is going to happen to everyone. But what I am speaking of, when you are constantly, purposely, day to day, always doing something wrong on purpose, that is another thing. If a person cannot get their life straight, why are you taking advice from them? When they are constantly, purposely sinning. Think about that. They are trying to tell you things of God, but they can't keep their life straight. So what I am trying to say, be careful of the advice that you are receiving from people because God may be trying to get you what you want, but you constantly have your ear open to those level twos and level threes or no level people because they are purposely sinning each day but trying to show themselves to be Christians when they are not. So they can't make it so they fake it. Yes. <laughs> And what you really should do is stop caring about image and like show people, hey, I am this way and I need help. Stop trying to be something that you are not. If you are not really a Christian, but you are showing yourself to be a Christian, and if you need help in changing, stop faking it and get help. Because in the end, you are going to hurt yourself. You are not going to hurt, well, you may hurt other people, but you are going to hurt yourself the most. So stop faking it. Make it. Does that make any sense? Everyone does not serve God. They may serve, I mean, they may look like they serve God. They may wear a tie and a hat and they may have a really nice car and stuff like that and you may say well 
this person looks like they serve God and they are blessed by God and so on and so on. Only if you could see <clears throat> what is happening in their home. But that is something else. Be careful. A person can easily remember scriptures and stuff like that. They probably can quote you this and that, this and that. They may know a lot of things about the Bible, but are they living it? Anyone can read the Bible and read it for hours and then tell you what this verse is saying and what that verse is saying, so on and so on. But are they living it? Remembering what the Bible is saying is just part of it. That does not mean that your life is changed. Because a person can know what the Bible is saying, but they still, but that but that does not mean that they are going to do what the Bible is saying. So, just because a person looks smart, looks holy, looks like a servant of God and stuff like that, it does not mean that they are. They can be as messed up as a person that looks like they are in sin. But that person may put up a very good cover up, I guess you can say, making themselves look like they are a Christian. But in truth, they are just as worse as any person that say that they don't believe in God. Does that make any sense? And I am not trying to talk about anyone or make anyone mad or anything like that. You just have to be careful. Because if I am going through something like that now, you are going to go through it too. If you, if you are planning on serving God, God is going to test you. If you believe that God is not going to test you, <laughs> you have something else coming. <laughs> so you are going to be tested. So don't be surprised. So does this make any sense? You have to watch people. The more perfect a person looks, be careful. And I will tell you many times, my past was awful. I did many, many, many bad things and I don't try to hide it. I don't. But if a person tries to make themselves seem like they are so perfect and everything they do and say is right, be careful of those people. Because usually, not every time, but usually, <laughs> those are like the worst type of people. The ones who try to make themselves look like they never did anything wrong or everything bad that happens, it can never be their fault. Like it is everyone's, it is the fault of other people, but not theirs. Does that make any sense? Be careful of people like that. You should really look for people who are down to earth. People who don't really care about their image and stuff like that. Those are really the people that can really help you if they are serving God. Now, if they are down to earth and they are not serving God, 
<laughs> Stay away from them, you know. <laughs> okay. God bless.